What is going on guys? Tony here, CCXRC, and today we're gonna to be looking at a size comparison between the LMT and the other solid axle monster trucks that I have, because a lot of you guys have questions about this, and uh, some people think that maybe it's bigger than it is. I know I did when I first saw it. I thought it was an eight scale, but the box is 10 scale. It does have one eight scale components like the diffs um, and things like that. So we'll, we'll look at it really quickly here, uh, but we're gonna be showing it compared to my Pro C and SMT 10, that's the LMT, my ZRD and a good old clod buster there. So um, when we're looking at these, one of the main things for our class rules is gonna be the length of it. And as you can see, we've moved a little bit. Um, and this axle here, <laughs> one of the links is messed, but it is pretty much the same length as the SMT-10 and my ZRD, which is the same as my Pro-C, but the Clod Buster, this little guy, is left in the dust as far as length goes, for sure. Um, I have longer chassis for my Clod Buster retros based on bodies, but that's not the one I chose to show you. I wanted to show you a stock one so you can see how much shorter it is. Width of them. Another thing that we go based on, as you can see, is pretty close. So um, what they've done here is the axles on the LMT are actually longer, but the offset on the wheel is so little, which gives you great steering, um, and it keeps the, the width of the wheels the same as the SMT-10, which have a little bit wider offset here, more centered in the wheel on this one. And these are changeable. These are uh, not the stock tires. Those are 2.6 tires on an SMT-10, because basically we're comparing Pro Mod. I do have my 2.2 over here, so you can see you still have the same length, but you can see the wheels are not even close to the same size. But that's a different class. We're looking at the Pro Mod specifically. So let me um, show you guys again in here. These axles are much thicker and the internals are much bigger than what you get, say, in your SMT-10. So um, much smaller diffs, much thinner axles internally. So much beefier on the LMT. You do get really big ones if you go with uh, freestyle axles. These things are, are awesome. So that's the Pro C, but all of the freestyle axles are beefy and have really big drive shafts or um, shafts in them and diffs. So it's a much stronger platform than the SMT-10. But overall, I mean, the truck sizes are the same. What is different, I think, is, and what gets people thinking it's so much bigger is that the body itself is much bigger, the cage on it is bigger, and it sits higher than the other trucks. And so it's kind of a visual thing that makes it feel that way, because if you were to take off this body and put on this one and sit the body lower, it looks a lot like the rest of our trucks now. So to base it, on the body is not really right. The wheel bases are the same. The width, everything, length is the same. It does have a bigger uh, drivetrain. We'll look at that, which I think is smart. Um, they've already started doing it with things like the ZRD, the bigger axles, bigger drive shafts in here. It could probably use bigger and thicker um, trailing links, or not trailing links, but uh, four link. Like the trailing arms on the SMT-10 are beefed up. Shock mounting is different for that. It's not on axle. What's cool is that these are on axle, much more scale on the LMT and on the, uh, the ZRD here. But this body and this chassis just sit higher and are bigger. And I think the perception is that it's a bigger truck because of that. When really the chassis are pretty similar in length and everything here. This link is really messing me up here. So it's not that big if you if you scale it down to just the chassis, which Kevin Hetmanski had one very similar to this already out, 
and people were running in this class. So I, I do think it fits pro, uh, pro mod class other than the, the center diff, which is an easy swap out. Um, from the bottom here, I think it's smart that they put it in here for bashers um, because it really does save the drivetrain. And uh, I'm gonna keep this one a basher. I will get the spool for my race trucks because that's in our rules, you have to do that. The links, however, this is where some of the magic is in my mind. These are awesome. They're large. They have not broken with all the, the, the big jumps we've been doing with it. And it's just totally holding up. So very impressed with these. Um, and I'd like to see these maybe that size on uh, the ZRD to really kind of stiffen that up even more. Um, but again, what we've done here is we put axle tubes into our axles to make them a little bit stronger, uh, which does help, but the diffs still are easy under big freestyle to, uh, to blow out the, the bevel gear and the ring gear on it. So um, overall though, I still think the SMT is a good platform. And I have another one I'm building for freestyle, putting uh, silicone earplugs in the diffs for doing freestyle with it. That's what it's gonna be built for. More scale freestyle though, not the big, huge bashing that I did with the LMT, which I won't be doing with it very much. That was a one time, let's see what it can take kind of a thing, because it's really not <laughs> a solid axle thing to be doing that kind of bashing we did with it. And it probably had some people cringing. I know I was cringing. But uh, as you can see, they're all pretty similar in size, except for <laughs> the short guy over here. But the wheels, these are running the, um, these are Firestorms on here, Renegades. I think that these J Concepts um, Gold Years are pretty much the closest comparison to the stock LMT tire as far as height. It is a taller tire than what a lot of people run, which are these Renegades. So. Um, but overall, guys, I think it's a, a great addition to the class for Pro Mod. I don't think a specific class is needed for them because Losi's already known about our rules and they have a spool coming for them. So we should be able to fit it into our class pretty easily. But other than that, guys, I hope you are having fun and uh, getting your RC monster trucks out there to do some running. And uh, we will catch you guys later, hopefully. This answers some questions that you guys have about the size, but I really do think that you can see here that these are all pretty much on the same playing field. You just get one ready to run out of the box that can pretty much compete in this, uh, in this field. This guy can't, not like that, but this field. <laughs> all right guys, have fun RCing and we will catch you in the next video.